before I, before I let you go, I I, I would be reminisced to not to ask uh, how did it feel to get uh, beat up by Ronda Rousey as a security guard on WWE TV uh, a couple of uh, a couple of months ago. <laughs> so I have to dispute that because I don't believe I did get. I, I was cheap shot it. I don't think that I was beat up because um, everybody says that I was trying to tap out, which is actually a lie because. Uh, I was trying to punch her in the face, if you want me to be blatantly honest, because that shit hurt. And yeah. uh, I wasn't trying to be a bitch on TV. You know, unfortunately, the camera angle made me look like a real bitch on TV. But, um, you know, it, but to answer your question, it was cool, dude. Like it was it was really cool. Like it, it was one of those things where, um, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not that guy that is satisfied just being in a in a in a extra role on on television, you know. And, and there are people that are, and, and and I'm not, you know, trying to demean them in any way, but that's just not me and what I'm trying to get. You know, I, I, I want to wrestle. I want to be on television. I want to, I want to have a contract. I want to be able to show the world what I'm actually capable of, you know, uh, whether it be on television or whether it be behind the scenes, you know, in a, in a, you know, a coaching role or whether it be in like a, just a, a producer or like a writer's role, just because I've been blessed to, you know, have multiple opportunities to learn a lot of different facets of the business. So, um, that's all I want. I just, I want to make a living off of wrestling because I just love the business so much. So when, uh, when that happened, it was just, it was just like, I wasn't satisfied because I still didn't get my match, but it was also one of those things where it was with the right person and it was like the right spot. And, uh, I got to be a part of something rather neat. And not only did I get to be a part of something rather neat, but, uh, f for me, like the kind of the cherry on top was the commentating team was, uh, Pat McAfee and Michael Cole, yeah. which if anybody knows me, like I'm a Pat McAfee dude, like, Big time, through, yeah. so, yeah. um, you know, so th the whole, the whole thing and, 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 and to, and to cap it all off it was in montreal in the bell center which again like i i just you know to, i i've been telling people like for the last couple of years jokingly but i almost like mean it like to death now it's like i'm a montreal wrestler that just so happens to live in ontario like you know that's how i i i feel love in montreal and i feel growth in montreal and i get to do and i get to be myself in montreal and i don't have people like trying to like like tell me what not to be you know what i mean or like bitch because you know i hit too hard or anything like that like all of these crazy ass things are like welcomed you know like iws is like it's almost like this weird ecw like misfit type <laughs> land of sure. toys you know yeah. misfit well, toys type situation and uh you know it's we're, we're that group that like individually i don't know if everybody wants us but like as a group you can't fucking stop us dude like, that's for sure we we're we're doing some really great stuff right now and we're on pay-per-view and uh we're on fight network and you know like manny and andrew have provided us an unbelievable platform to go knock it the fuck out of the park and i think that our team has certainly been doing that lately. 